It's perhaps the biggest quarantine in human history. Millions of people are in a state of lockdown in China. However, even outside mainland China, there are thousands of people worldwide who have been quarantined after being evacuated from Wuhan, the epicenter of the outbreak. Let's now take a look as to what life is like inside quarantine camps from Serbia to Australia to the United States. The coronavirus outbreak has pushed thousands of people in quarantine across the globe. This is a camp in Siberia. Scores of Russians are being kept here. In the best case scenario, they'll be allowed to leave in two weeks. Vladimir Markov is here after spending three months in Wuhan. The Russian government evacuated him. Okay, we are finally in a hospital. <clears throat> Now what we have to do, we have to put our old clothes in one bag. This is top clothes, another clothes in another bag. And then call the reception, they will come and uh, take all clothes for disinfection. Also we had to use alcohol and clean all personal belongings. That's it, let's do it. Russia shares a 4,300-kilometer-long border with China. It was sealed after two cases of the coronavirus were confirmed, both Chinese nationals. Wan Yunbin was one of them. He did not know he was infected. The hospital didn't tell me at first because they might have been worried that we would refuse to be quarantined in the hospital or refuse medical treatment. Or they were worried I might overreact to the news. They might have planned to tell my family first and then me. 30-year-old Wan reveals how he feared for his life. This is the first time in my 30-year life that I'm thinking about death. Because death cases are being reported every day in China. Later I told myself it was just a cold, only a most severe and a new kind of cold. And no drugs had yet been found that will cure this cold. If we can overcome the common cold, we will be able to overcome this new cold. Then I will be fine. Strict protocol is in place to protect others also housed in the quarantine facility. Everything is brought into the rooms and contact between people is completely forbidden. So if you are in the room with someone else, you've got to stay in that room for two weeks. Otherwise, if you break the rules, the quarantine is extended. In other words, it's launched anew, another 14 days on top of that. 300 people are being kept under observation in this detention centre on Christmas Island off the northwestern coast of Australia. Evacuees say they are glad to be on home soil. They're doing a fantastic job. Uh, we could, uh, from the moment that we left Wuhan to the time that we've had here, uh, both the Australian government and all the people working with them have done a fantastic job. We couldn't be more happier. American evacuees will be flown to this facility in Omaha, which is a National Guard training base. The purpose of the quarantine is to identify any new onset of illness among this group right away should it develop. Medical personnel will be screening, monitoring and evaluating these folks every step of the way, including before takeoff, during flight and following arrival. This includes checking temperatures twice daily and observing for respiratory symptoms. Medical screening will continue throughout their stay and we will be following CDC guidance for infection control. With no foolproof cure yet for the coronavirus, for these thousands of people in quarantine worldwide, prevention is the only option. Bureau Report, Beyond, World is One.